This video is on how to crochet a layered flower by me, Gwen Fisher, using Doceri software, which is the premier software suite for hand-drawn communication of all sorts, designed specifically for teachers. And here are three examples of the flower, and these designs are adapted from the work of Therese de Domont, who wrote a book called Masterpieces of Irish Lace Crochet, Techniques, Patterns, and Instructions in the early 1900s. Uh, this publication has now been republished by Dover, and my presentation here, I've updated the language and I've added a chart that was not included in the original, and I'm going to animate my chart as well. So the pattern that Therese shows in her work is essentially this one, and here I've done this with silk lace weight yarn, and so this piece is actually quite small. Here's a photo of the back of the flower, and you can see the three layers in that. And then I made a bigger one with some bulky weight yarn and a much larger hook. And uh, the fourth layer, the white one that's on the top, I actually added afterwards. Uh, I made that one, and I accidentally used six lobes, but it seemed to work fine. And, and I stopped it because I, the stitches weren't tight enough. I was using too large of a hook. Uh, so I decided to quit that one and just put it on this big flower. And here you can see a photo of the back of the flower where you can see the three layers. And then a third piece I made is this one, which is done with a cotton thread. And um, this one I was trying to see if I could do a fourth layer of petals and using the same technique and it worked like a charm and then on that fourth layer I added another round of crochet stitches going around the outside with single crochets and then some chain stitches to make it look lacy. And here's a photo of the back of the piece so that you can see the four layers. Uh, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to have a five lobes on our flower so I'm going to start by drawing out these five points, and then we're going to make a, a ring of chain stitches. So this is just a brief overview right now. Um, for the first proper round, we're going to do chain stitches that are going to be anchored at five points, and then we're going to do another round where we use bigger stitches to fill in the petals. And we're going to repeat that by doing another round of chain stitches, this time with more chains to make it bigger, and then m larger stitches to make the petals, again with more stitches because it's a, a larger ring of petals and we do this one more time with a round of chain stitches and then the round of larger stitches and you can continue doing this as many times as you want. The stitches we're going to use are basic stitches, chain stitch, slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet and double crochet. I'm not going to show you how to do those in this video because these are basic crochet stitches and there's lots of resources online where you can learn how to do them and they're explained in virtually every crochet book. So to begin with we're going to tie a slip knot and then we're going to chain five stitches. And then we're going to close our ring with one slip stitch on the first chain of the five chain. Now for our first round we're going to do six chains and then we're going to make this four times. We're going to do one double crochet on the ring and then three chains. So here's the double crochet, three chain, the double, three chain, double, three chain, double, three chain. And then to close the round we're going to do one slip stitch on the third chain of the sixth chain. To make the second round over each loop of the three chain we're going to make one single crochet, one half double crochet, three double crochet, one half double crochet, and one single crochet, and repeat that five times around the flower. We go up to the third round, and we're going to do one single crochet on the slip stitch of the first round, and this is our step up. Um, now I'm whitening out some of the stitches because we're not going to be using those anymore, and we're actually going to be building over them. So the next thing we want to do is five chain stitches, and then we're going to make four times one single crochet on the next double crochet of the first round and five chain. So there's the single, five chain, single, five chain, single, five chain, single, and five chain. 
and just as we did before, we're going to do one slip stitch on the first single crochet. Now the fourth round is going to be just like the second round, but we're going to replace the three double crochet with five. And so we're going to do one single crochet, one half double crochet, five double crochets, and one half double crochet and a single crochet, and repeat that five times to go around the flower. And after we do that, we finish the second layer of the flower. If you want to continue then for the fifth round, it's going to look just like we did before, where we start with a single crochet to do our step up. And instead of doing five chains, now we're going to do seven. So here's the seven chains, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just as we did before, we're going to make four times one single crochet on the next double crochet of the third round and then chain seven. So we do a single chain seven, a single chain seven until we get all the way to the end of the round. And then to finish, we do our one slip stitch on the first single crochet. Now for the sixth round, it looks just like the fourth round, but we're going to be using seven double crochets in the middle. So one single, one half double, seven doubles, one half double, and one single. And we repeat that going around five times. This round takes a little bit of time to actually execute. And then at this point, we just tie off and we're done with the flower. But if you want to make another round, I'm going to show you in the writing here on the right. So the seventh round would look just like the fifth round, where we start with the single crochet, we're going to chain nine, and we're going to make four times the single crochet um, and the nine chain, and then end with the slip stitch. And then the eighth round will look just like the sixth one, except we're going to be doing the nine double crochets in the center. And if you want to keep going, you just continue the sequence where instead of nine, now you'll do 11, and then the next time you'll do 13, and then and 17 and you can make your flower as big as you want it and that's all there is to it so I hope you'll show me what you make thanks